I'm out in the garden today and I want to get as much done as I can. I'm looking at my little, um, it's actually a cold frame box. It's got a cover that closes it. So if I wanted to grow some things over winter, I probably could. I don't usually mess with it though. I usually put everything out in the, in the main garden for my winter things like um, lettuce and things like that. But I do like to use this box. There's a lot of turkey noise today. I can tell you that. I do like to use this box for herbs so I can completely load it up with seeds and then I close the top, let them all germinate and start to grow in really, really well. And then once everything germinates and then and starts to get a little bit bigger, then I'll open it up and let the sunlight come in permanently. So anyway, I'm gonna start with this area today. I've got basically the whole garden left to do. <laughs> Haven't put anything out, any of my starts or anything out. So. I just kind of want to get a win under my belt, quite frankly, and get this going. So I'm gonna start with something that's particularly easy. And hopefully I can get this done quickly, have one area done, and then start from there. The thing I did before I got started was like gather up everything I could think of that I could possibly need. So this over here is my little pop-up trash can. I'll use it today, a kneeling pad. This is my bench that I like because you can flip it over and either kneel on it or you can sit on it as a tall bench. So I like that one too. And I've got all the seeds in the pocket, some tools on the other side in the pocket. Everything is close by so that I can be as efficient as possible and hopefully get a lot done today. We're gonna put the pickle bush in a pot. I tried these last year. They're not really great for on the ground here because it stays too wet. This is what seed I'm gonna be doing. This one's called pickle bush. Space saving, two foot plants produce an abundance of four to five inch fruits for pickling. So it says container friendly and I am going to try them in a container this year. So I don't know if I'll need that little steak to trellis them up at all or anything like that, but See, I did them last year. They didn't really do anything because they got diseased on the ground pretty quickly. So probably doing them in a container will be more successful. So I'm gonna put the seeds in about three per spot and I think I'll do them one, two, three. This is a good size pot, so let's just try it. That's about how many seeds I have left too. And now to prevent any rogue chicken from getting up into my pot and scratching out my seeds, I'm gonna stick this into there temporarily. 
just to prevent anybody from getting in. See, I've kind of bent it where nobody can get through it. So. This is just to keep anybody from going into that pot and getting in there and scratching out all of my seeds. So just a little preventative measure. I do have my baskets like this, which I'll put over individual things, but this is better for a pot, hopefully. Now it's time I'm going to put in the cucumbers on this row here. So I don't have any trellises in place just yet. <laughs> But I can do those after my seeds start to germinate. I can get Alan to either build a trellis there or I can figure out something to lean so that things can grow up the trellis. So that's no problem. But this row, I actually probably won't even need the front side of that row there because it's a pretty wide row. I will just seed the cucumbers along the back side of the box there and then they can grow to the fence and um, we'll go from there. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I've got two varieties of cucumbers. One is a Parisian pickling and the other is Boston pickling. So I'm just gonna divide, divide it up between those two. We're gonna do four holes with the Parisian pickling and then the next four with the Boston pickling. I already have a hole here, so I'm gonna put some here too. I got a few things planted out since the last time I saw you, tomatoes and such. I've had them covered up with my baskets so that nothing could topple them or trample them or any of that. But now I'm ready to remove the baskets. It's been about a full week probably since I planted these out. Now I'm ready to remove the baskets, but I need to tie them up to the posts that we put with them. These are all determinate um, Amish paste tomatoes that are in this little section here. So they will only grow to a certain height. They'll only produce a certain amount and all of that stuff, but um, they still need to be tied up to the post there in the meantime, until they get really big, until they get big enough to kind of support themselves. So I am going to do that today. And I'll also go ahead and remove these baskets. That way I can use them for something else soon.
All right, friend, I just wanted to jump on here towards the end of this video and say hi to you. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you watching and I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. It's just sort of a compilation of all the work that I've been doing here in the last couple weeks in the garden. So of course you didn't see a good bit of things because sometimes I just have to bite the bullet and get out there and do the work. Like planting out all of my peppers and things, it really took a lot of time. And you, you know, you get the idea, right? I'm gonna plant the peppers out. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in the ground and you know how it goes, just like these tomatoes went. But it's just chipping away at the work for the garden here and there whenever I get the time. A lot of times I'm of taking a few minutes throughout the day, go and plant out some things here. When I have a few minutes in good weather another day, go and plant some more out. So uh, as you can see here on the right side of the screen, that's after I got all my pepper plants, a few marigolds and things planted out. So the garden is really starting to fill up, although it doesn't look full right now. It's always deceptive when you first put your little seedlings in because it's like, oh, there's plenty of room for other things to be to grow in there, which really there's not. Once everything starts to grow up, the garden will be a jungle. So tying up these tomatoes is an important step because I don't want them to get broken or fall over. They're starting to look even more and more healthy at this point. The um, uh, cold frame box has sprouted and all the things are starting to grow in there. This is a few trays of things that I've yet to put in. I've got some chives, a few more pepper plants, marigolds, all kinds of stuff yet to go into the garden. And then one more thing that I have coming up um, in the future is putting together my new green stalk planter and planting a lot of these um, flower starts. That's little asparagus. I'm gonna show you those after I get those planted out in a few days. Um, Anyway, I've got to plan out my new green stalk planter. That is that tiered planter. You've probably seen that on social media and things. But anyway, that's just a few updates for the garden. And I really appreciate you being here and watching my video. I hope that you will like the video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed. And I hope to see you back here on the channel again real soon.